Ali ya ya ke jelen ko me long ke kele eh atirinka narika broki atali ala na nyadi na mabi bate do Mr President atirinka narika yo Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you President Jamel Happy birthday to you Kanilai Group International KGI is offering a ma- Welcome back. The Executive Director of the National Sports Council Saturday afternoon announced the lifting of suspension on four top officials of the Gambia Football Federation. Their announcement was made at the joint press briefing convened by the National Sports Council and the Gambia Football Federation. And as Ababukar Sengo reports, the decision is set to chart a new path for Gambian football. This was a hastily convened press briefing. It was a joint effort by the National Sports Council and the Gambia Football Federation. I think in my pronouncement, I said the, the council and the GFF, we both sit together and engage it, each other. And in my pronouncement, I said we have agreed to leave the ban on the suspension of uh, GFF players. And in my pronouncement, I also mentioned that we are engaging each other to work on the ban of CAF and ensure that the ban is lifted. And uh, we have the signal from the GFF on the way that we should move to engage CAF, and we believe through them that we'll be successful for this ban to be lifted. And uh, we're still working on the process. We're still engaging each other. Here, we are not pronouncing of a blame game. We are looking at, as a nation, how Gambia would engage itself in this CAF and FIFA competition as it was before, then being suspended. So the idea is looking underneath the athlete who is more affected in this. And we want to ensure that Gambia engage itself in CAF and FIFA competition. That is the consultation that we are doing, and that's what we are looking for, and ensure that Gambia gets its glory and pride. Statements were short and succinct. The first signs that these two vital bodies are now working together for the good of Gambian football. We stand in solidarity, and we see Gambia bigger than all of us. And uh, the development of football in the Gambia is our collective, um, is our collective um, uh, uh, interests and we, we cannot achieve independently so that is why we have engaged and I think Abdulaziz has put it rightly. Now coming to the specific question on the appeal process it might be interest it might interest you to know that the appeal was already submitted to CAF on time we have respected all the procedures and CAF have now given a go for us to engage and proceed with the appeal process. Few weeks earlier, this would only have been a dream for Gambian sports. This is a departure from previous discussions with the media. There is an element of compromise here. And for the first time in many months, Gambia's sporting fraternity is channeling efforts in building a better future for its athletes. It marks a remarkable turnaround in the fortunes of Gambian football management. However, despite the positivity generated from the press briefing, there still remain some unanswered questions, not least the timing for a change of heart. For Jarcha Sport Days, Baukar Senghor.
Welcome back and from sports there by Babu Karsengo. A quick reminder of our top stories. Deputies have called for urgent help to resuscitate a utility giant, Nawek, and the country's broadcasting powerhouse, GRTS. This as members continue their adjournment debate. Their executive director of the National Sports Council has announced the lifting of suspension on four top officials of the Gambia Football Federation. Suspected Al-Shabaab militants have attacked Somalia's parliament building in the heart of Mogadishu killing eight people. And Ethiopia's attempt to complete the construction of a multi-billion dollar hydroelectric dam on the Nile waterway is driving sharp criticism and a threat of retaliatory action from Egypt. Well, that was all in this edition of the News at 8. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Girls in ICT Day is an event set aside by the International Telecommunications Union in 2010 to create a global environment that empowers and encourages girls and young women to consider careers in the growing field of information and communication technologies. It saw the need to mainstream gender issues in its overall strategic plan. This year's event marked the fourth of its kind since the Gambia started observing the day. But this is also the first time that the Minister of Information and Communication Infrastructure spearheaded the celebrations. We felt that um, it was an issue that, that needed to be given prominence and to be prioritized. And our then permanent secretary, Madam Nancy Nyang, who is now the permanent secretary at the Ministry of um, Youth and Sports, felt the need to highlight the day itself and not just the day but the whole issue of um, gender mainstreaming in ICT. I feel that it is necessary you know, to promote uh, girls in the use of ICTs, participation in ICT, whether it's through education, use of ICTs, work and all that. Um, the last time it used to be facilitated by the IT Association of Gambia, yet it's a stakeholder association for um, we want to give this national prominence, and this is why the ministry is um, coming in to make sure that prominence is given. Uh, but at the same time, this is an event that is held around the world, and there's kind of some uh, international recognition given to it how countries are participating and what role they are playing to drive this process forward. And definitely want to see ourselves effectively playing that role. I mean, in helping the girl child you know, make good use of ICTs to their advantage. Moisi occupied the driver's seat in this year's Girls in ICT Day. But other key stakeholders such as the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority would not be left behind as an institution responsible for the regulation of the telecoms ICT sector. Um, it's an important um, event for us, um, being um, the regulator in the country. And an event of the nature cannot be held in the country without Pura being the key um, sponsor of this project. So, um, and on a different note, because it involves women, and we know that the president is very much um, focused on women issues, and as a servant of the, the government, uh, we take um, pride in supporting this project.